So we're testing and looking into the reliability of the New Testament via evidence that demands a verdict by Dr. Sean and Josh McDowell. This is going to be on page 42 of the edition published in 2017. Professor Donald Hagner says that true Christianity is absolutely dependent on history. At the heart of the New Testament is an assertion that God was in Christ, reconciling the world to himself, 2 Corinthians 5.19. The incarnation, death, and resurrection of Jesus is a real event in time and space, historical realities, which are indispensable foundations of the Christian faith. Now, in one of my recent videos, I got into some um, arguments on gospel dating, uh, specifically uh, why it's most reasonable to argue and believe that Luke and Acts were written before 70 AD. And you can revisit that, but this book also includes arguments that all of the Gospels were written uh, prior to 70 AD, most within decades of Jesus' life. There is a bibliographical test for reliability used for historical documents. When we're considering how reliable the copies are, we consider the time of the cop the time between the copies we have now and the date of which um, the documents may have originally been written. Uh, for any historical work, for any work, uh, the larger number of manuscripts that we have, the closer to the date which they are, the easier it is to authenticate. Re reconstruct the text, etc. So whenever we're considering the Bible, the New Testament, versus other documents, other historical realities which are universally accepted, the case for the New Testament and the realities of the testimonies provided and such are stronger. Let's give you an example. Tacitus a Roman historian through whom we look at the lens of Roman history. Much of Roman history is understood through Tacitus' annals. Well, the earliest manuscripts that we have are dated 850. The man lived from about, I don't know, B.C. 100 to eighty fifty, kind of in that range, right? They um, concerned the Roman Empire from A.D. 14 to A.D. 68. So forget what I just said, <laughs> but but his uh, annals uh, yeah, concerned the Roman Empire from AD 14 to AD 68, earliest known manuscripts from 850. Yet we rely on his testimony as a historian, despite how much time passed between those. But we do have handfuls of manuscripts, 36. 36 manuscripts. Manuscripts, that's a handwritten copy of the original text, of the original author text, 36. Plato's Tetralogies. Plato, born in 5th century BC. Earliest manuscripts from 3rd century BC. So, earliest manuscripts from, we have from Plato come to us two to 300 years later. Shall we question whether or not Plato existed Homer's Iliad, uh, earliest manuscripts, 415 B.C. We have about 1,900 copies originally written. I don't have that quickly highlighted here. But you get the point, right? So we have all these texts, all these historical texts. We're basing a ton of what we know historically on documents when their earliest surviving copies are like 500 to 1,000 years from when they were written. And we have maybe dozens of manuscripts with these different documents. And that's focusing in on Tacitus' Annals, Homer's Iliad, Plato's Tetralogies. Um, you get the point. If I fumble, I'm allowed, man. I'm ill, and I am not a scholar. I am referring you to a scholar. Um, 
And if you go to my channel page, you will see lectures by uh, Dr. Josh McDowell, which you should certainly watch if you are actually concerned about this uh, for the point of finding truth. But let's get to the Bible. We have 66,286 biblical manuscripts, New Testament, um, focusing in on the Greek Earliest New Testament manuscript in Greek from AD 130. Yes, that is within 100 years of the events which taken place. Yes, we have thousands of manuscripts rather than dozens. And yes, that is hundreds of years closer. The New Testament is uh, the most historically supported document of any document from the period of any document that had existed or uh, dated within hundreds of years uh, before or after that period. Um, it's just simply a very strong historical case for the New Testament letters. And these are all unique letters written by a range of individuals affirming the same, that our Lord Jesus did indeed die on a cross via a crucifixion, was buried, was put in a tomb, and was then resurrected. Christ is king and every knee will bow. 